Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be going over how to get your watch list from TD Ameritrade, along with getting the market movers from three different indices. So for this tutorial, you're gonna need your API key, your account number, along with your callback URL from your TD Ameritrade app. So after you enter your API key and account information, I'm gonna go ahead and run this get function. It's a modified HTTR function that will allow us to send get requests along with this Python script that would allow us to authenticate. Now, in order to get the watch list from your TD Ameritrade account, we need to retrieve the watch list ID. So what this function will do is retrieve all the watch list IDs from your account. And it's going to do that via this URL, send a get request and retrieve the contents. So if we go ahead and minimize this function and go ahead and run that function. You can just call this function and we're going to store our watch list IDs in this variable here. So we take a look at that variable. So I have six different watch lists, all with unique IDs. So in the next function, I'm going to pass an ID and it should be able to retrieve that watch list for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy a random ID here. And by using this function, you see that we pass along the watch list ID. We're going to modify the URL by passing in the watch list ID here. We're going to authenticate, send a get request, and then extract the content. So if we go ahead and run this function, and I'm gonna retrieve this watch list. So if we take a look at that data frame, here we have all the instruments in that watch list, the asset type, and you will also see if you have any positions for any of the instruments in this column. In my opinion, this API has poor documentation and not a lot of information. So I actually thought that by retrieving my watch list, I would actually see something like a quote for any of the instruments within that watch list. But it turns out we just get the quantity, the average price, and the commission for the instruments listed in that watch list. You can also go to their page, and they do say that you can modify watch list, delete instruments within that watch list, and also add instruments to that watch list. But I didn't wanna go through all that since all we are actually doing is just retrieving the symbol and whether we have a position or not. So this may be useful if you wanna keep track of your positions. Just make a watch list and call in this function by passing in that specific watch list ID. Now the next function in the script will get you the movers, but it's only limited to the top 10 up or down, and you can specify whether you want changes in value or percent. And you could do so by specifying three different types of indices. So we have the NASDAQ, the Dow Jones, or the S&P 500. So in this function, we need to specify three things, the index we want to retrieve, the direction, whether up or down, and the change, if you want changes in percent or in actual points or value. So we do so by passing in the URL. And in the URL, we need to specify the index, our API key, the direction, and the change. We need to authenticate. We're gonna extract that bearer token, send a get request, and read in the contents. I also added two columns to this data frame. So when we get our content, I'm gonna add the system time along with what index this is for. So we minimize that and run this function. I'm gonna get the movers for the S&P 500. The direction will be down, so all the decliners, and I want to extract the change in points. So we go ahead and run that line. So since I'm running this over the weekend, it will not retrieve any data, which is good to know, but I'll post a screenshot of what that data looks like, but you will get a data frame with either the points or percentage change, along with the tickers, the company name, and of course the timestamp and the index. And I believe since we are authenticating, I couldn't find anything in the response that indicated so, but my assumption is that these are in real time. So this may be useful if you're trying to get the top movers intraday, for any of these indices. So this concludes the video guys. I will post the link to the GitHub down in the description area where you can get the script. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.